I want to start this video by saying a massive, massive thank you to all my viewers, all my subscribers and my disciples of the realm because if it wasn't for you guys, this realm verb could never have happened. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So yes, Realm Furb is finally complete. Now if you're just watching this to see the Realm Furb part of it, all the looks and changes that have happened, I'm about to show that in just a second. However, if you want to hear about some sort of future projects and ideas that I have now that Realm Furb's complete, where my finances may go, etc, etc, then please stick around to the end. Plus, of course, you get to see the new outro if you stick around to the end too. Up to you guys. So where to begin? First of all, probably my seating position. What do you think of it? You get to see me sat in front of good old Kamora Bee back there. Now, if you haven't been following me for a long time, Kamora Bee is the name of my animal filming area. We haven't used it in quite some time because I could just never get the look finished. Now, I added a kind of camo net to the background. I thought it kind of might blur the background a little bit as well when we're filming some animals, and I think that will be really, really cool. We will do a video kind of testing out the new Kamora Bee soon. But let's have a little bit more of a detailed look at that one. So folks, here is Kamora Bee. You can see how that kind of camo background really kind of makes an effect to it, at least I think so. Sadly, I ran out of black paint to finish the backing on here, but hopefully I've covered that quite well with the dead plant life here. Um, I've no longer got that horrible cardboard front. We've got a nice uh, gray wooden kind of frame there. Uh, I managed to complete a full mossy bottom. This is all real moss um, and we've just added in a few extras. We've got the mossy cave we had before. We've got more sticks sticking out everywhere and of course our main feature, the tree trunk. Um, obviously this is a, a desert scene set up but it's just kind of that rocky effect and when you kind of zoom in you're not really going to notice it's a desert theme setup. Uh, my daughter actually helped create this and she wanted that there so that's that's why something might look a little bit out of place. Um, I do keep adding little bits of leaves and things to the floor. I really want to make it look as naturalistic as possible. So yeah there is Kamora Bee finally finished. Now Kamora Bee did not cost that much money to make. A camo net is pretty cheap off of eBay, right? So you're probably wondering, all right, Sam, where did this thousand pounds you're talking about go? Well, a vast bulk of that money actually went on enclosure upgrades. Now I chose to go with the Mantis Den brand and I ended up with 44 new enclosures, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, that's where a lot of the money went. I picked these enclosures for a specific reason that we'll discuss in just a moment. But first off, should we have a little look at which ones I picked up? So here we have the Mantis Den enclosures. We've got shelf after shelf after shelf after shelf here. Four shelves of Mantis Den enclosures on this side. We keep the glass ones still and the old uh, tarantula room enclosures are now sprung along the top. Uh, these are the new arboreal mantis den enclosures. Same as your normal mantis ones except the tops are vented as you can see. So these are the not for mantis range. I believe I might be potentially the first YouTuber to own these as they were not on the website at time of purchase. So I will do a review video if you guys want to see one of the new arboreals plus you'll see some rehousings. Now excuse the light, these are the bigger terrestrial. So we've got three large terrestrial on this shelf followed by three large terrestrial on this shelf. Above Kamora Bee, we've got again a trail of uh, 15 centimeter cubed and then we've got a 20 one or 19.5 and then we've got three large terrestrials. These ones in the background are gonna be moved outwards and placed into their new homes. Um, I've got a, a little a red runner colony here and then we've just got a few bits and bobs going along the tops. So yeah, new enclosures, pretty sexy, right? Now we're gonna talk the icing on the cake, right? My favorite part of this, and that is to show you 
what these enclosures look like with the LEDs turned on. Now, the LEDs are already on in Kimura B behind me, but I wanna get you some shots at night time. So I'm gonna be filming this in what would be a couple hours from now when the sun has gone down and you guys can see how much these LEDs not only light up the realm, but really show the animals or show the setups that I have. It is incredible. And we have so many rehousings to do in these enclosures. Now with full visibility all the way around for the lights to really shine in there. And I think this is gonna make a massive impact on the channel and on what you guys get to see too. The light is off, it's dark outside. Let the camera focus and voila. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all these new lit up empty enclosures. Obviously you saw the Kimura beside, but this is it in the dark. Look, there are actually enclosures in behind there and you can just see perfectly into them. This is amazing. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. The best part is, look at the comparison. So these are exoterras. Now you can see into them, okay. But compare how much you can see with a mantis den enclosure. These LEDs with these type of enclosures with pure acrylic tops just work fantastically. And just to give you an example, the only large terrestrial I've housed anything in is Bruce's here. So this one's glass, this one's glass, but this one is acrylic. Now, if I were to bring the camera close, aside from a few dirt marks on the actual door, we can see Bruce perfectly. I won't have to necessarily open, but if I chose to, if I chose to just come and go, let's have a look at Bruce. Bada bing, bada boom. He's still on the shelf. And look how clear and crisp his biscuity body is. It's amazing, it's really amazing. I can literally, if I spot something going on, just bring the camera to you and show you, like, you know, middle of recording and somebody's doing something. Ba-bam, let's have a look. So yeah, I'm not gonna go on with this bit anymore, but this is my favorite part that I wanted to show you in Realm Fab. Pretty wicked, right? Let's get back to the video though. So next off, we're gonna talk about the arboreal shelf. Now, I couldn't afford the funds to fill the arboreal shelf full of nice mantis den displays, at least not yet. So for the time being, we're using it as a kind of jar shelf, large plastic jars, but I actually kind of like how these look and I think they suit the shelving unit. So let's have a look at our arboreal shelf, which is over that direction. So just quickly there, this is the arboreal shelf. Now that bit, that bit, and that bit that's sitting up the front, they are not gonna stay there. That's just a pot of malts. That is my saline, and that is the random huntsman. Um, they will be going into these. Now it stops at the point that my bed ends there. There are There is nothing of use on those shelves. I'm gonna put odds and ends there. But you can see, although they're jars, I think they work very, very well, ignoring the outside parts. Um, I just need to make some vent holes in them. Now I had a Victoria living in one of these and I've got a Samopia Cyclastiasticus living in one of these jars um, and they have done absolutely fine. Now Victoria even matured in a jar. Um, so yeah, they're not gonna be suitable for your large terrestrials. But they'll certainly do juveniles and smaller species. And I just think it's a really nice setup, especially when it's finished with a few tarantula room, small ones at the top of the old design. So what have we got here? We've got a, a Violicus, we've got a Reduncus, a Polyvotes, um, and a T Latipes. So yeah, not much more to say about an arboreal shelf really. So now there's only one more small thing to talk about with the Realm Furb and the last expense that came. So I have created, well not created, kind of bought something that could be a portable, practical sling nursery. So let's check that one out. So here we have the sling nursery. So yes, it is a trolley that I can just pull out when I wanna feed the slings. Well, look at that. So we've got our normal sling vials on the top here. This has got some miniature buffalo worms for feeding some slings. Now eventually all these pots are going to change into these ones here. Now I do mean to do a full video proper review of these sling tubs. These are personalized ones from Exotics Empire and they are amazing. So as you can see my logo on the top and I can fit 
four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 on a shelf. So we can have 24 on this shelf, probably half that up here, so I've got room for feeders. And we move down, we've got the arboreal section. So these are just these pots flipped upside down, um, or on their side even, and then we've got some kind of like sweetie jar things. I do plan on changing up how I keep my arboreal slings though. I might get into some of those kind of keepers that the spider shop do. I think they're really, really cool. And then bottom shelf is going to be bits and bobs. So these are just some empty ones, um, some tools like my hot glue gun and things. But I can kind of just swing this out now over to my chair without doing my back any harm to feed all the slings. And then I simply pop them straight back. Now I actually have wires down there. So it would run smoother if I didn't. Oh, Oops. oh no! Let's check he's okay. Yeah, he's all right. Little booty down there. One more thing I wanna add is I wanna do an insulation boost on here. So you've got a radiator there um, that kind of kicks out this way. Um, I wanna put a reflective thing along the back, either on here or maybe on the back of the trolley. Um, so it kind of reflects the heat back onto the slings, giving them that kind of more warmth to grow and that more comfortable environment. Obviously, if we have anything like super lowland style that needs to be cooler, we'll bring them down on the lower shelves that are not going to get as much heat as those on the higher shelves. So it's a little bit of playing to do with the sling shelf, but that's kind of it overall. Now knowing me, I probably forgot to mention something. So we're gonna have one last little overview of how the realm looks from as you're entering the door. So you can really see how I kind of live in this room, see how it all goes together, how it all matches and, and the practicality of it overall. So here I'm standing from my doorway. So yes, some of you still are unaware that this is my bedroom. <laughs> Literally nothing bedroom like except my bed. Now please excuse some of the mess. I've tried to uh, get this cleared up but I'm constantly on the go in this room. So as you can see, this is where I set up and that's one thing I forgot to mention was the desk. We no longer have the short tables. We've got a proper desk painted gray. Uh, my chair will sit here and that's where you saw the angle of Kamora be behind me with the LEDs already turned on on that shelf. Now I do need to get some extra plug sockets. You see, I don't have the LEDs on in this particular clip over here because the plug socket down the bottom is constantly in use apart from like certain times I'm filming. Um, and at the minute it is charging some stuff. But you've already seen how cool the LEDs look, right? But here we have it, there's the whole corner. I'm sorry that light's probably right in your way, but I wanted to leave it on so you saw exactly how it worked. So again, that light is in that plug socket down there as well. Um, so yeah, here is the kind of overall angle. This is me finishing off my Fatal Fangs clips. Whoop whoop. So feel free to cheer me on for Fatal Fangs 3, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, here is an overview of the room and where I now film. Rather than that corner, it's now here. And I think it's a bit better, don't you guys? So there's Realm Fab guys, and I really hope you enjoyed seeing this video because if it wasn't for you guys, it wouldn't have happened. You know, I know this helps with content creation, but it also allows me to feel happier, uh, more confident within the realm. It's so nice to be able to just sit on my bed or where I am in the evenings, jotting down after work maybe some video ideas with the leds on and things it is just so much better and each and every one of you guys has benefited to that every view helps my channel helps add revenue helps me be able to afford these things every subscribe means you're more likely to come back every bell icon every share that you guys have done and of course the biggest help being for my financial supporters the disciples of the realm without these guys this project definitely could never have come underway. So massive respect to you folks. So as I said at the beginning, that is Realm Ferb talk over and done with. If that's all you are here to see, feel free to click off the video now. But if you do wanna know a little bit more about some future projects, this is what we are about to discuss. But first, I need a sip of my coffee. Okay, so what is to come? First of all, I've been working on a new merch line. It is very, very slow. Um, the process is very, very slow. So it might be a fair while before you see them. I'm also looking for cheaper options. The print quality might not be quite as good as the current Bug Realms merchandise, but it should be good enough for you to be happy at home and it will be cheaper for you. So 
I'm really kind of spending a lot of my spare time on working out the designs. As I said, it's slow, it's difficult, and I don't want to bring something out that isn't, in my eyes, a decent quality. So I've got a few people that are running testers for me that are getting some free merchandise, people that have supported me a lot behind the scenes, uh, not necessarily YouTubers, just a few random people that have been there for me. Uh, they're gonna check out the merch line. Once a few of them have checked that out, if I'm happy with it, they're offering to send me selfies. You guys can see the selfies in a video and if it's something that you really like, just get in touch with me and we'll work out um, how about to get you one of those t-shirts. As I said, I'm still kind of working out the, the costs and where to go to create them. So I can't just give you that info straight off now. Now with a ton more enclosures, there's gonna be a ton more rehousings, right? now. This is something I need to speak to you guys about. Not all of my rehousings are gonna be done on the camera. I think there are certain tees that feature that are literally probably gonna be placed, maybe arboreals in certain bits of bark. I'm gonna lift the bark out and put it straight in the enclosure. It's nothing really for you guys to see. However, some of them I might place on Kamorabi here for you guys to have a good look at the tee. Um, and other ones might have comical value. We don't know until we get down to it, right? But do you guys want to see a bulk of my rehousings, all the ones that have any kind of interest whatsoever and that you can see the spider from? Or are you not too interested in a shed load of rehousing videos? Um, I don't know how to do it, maybe two or three in a video and keep that going over time but i don't want you to get bored of just seeing rehousing so i really need your feedback in the comments below if you're watching this on the telly i understand it's hard to comment but if you could just whip out your phone just because i really could use your help on knowing if you really want to see that or if you'd rather me do a lot of that behind the scenes and only show maybe a couple rehousings um, into these new enclosures now shorts. Now shorts aren't something that actually interests me too much in viewing. So I'm sorry to a lot of YouTubers that put out the shorts. I probably haven't watched very many of them, but I've noticed that some have become very, very popular. And since becoming a contestant this time round for Fatal Fangs 3, I've found thorough, thorough enjoyment in creating that piece of art in a feeding video. I was never one for feeding videos, I ended up feeling they were rushed or I didn't like them, but creating an art piece, specifically one tarantula and a feed and taking my time all with that one, it's, it's kind of really just brought something else out in me. And I would quite like to bring out a few more shorts of my own, but they won't just be like a, a Bama takedown done. They will be like a work of art. They will be put to music. They will be kind of, um, they will have better elements of filmography in there, the close-ups, maybe the macros, some zoom out shots. I will really try and play that clip to the music in a sort of Fatal Fang style and just bring them out to you guys just now and again as shorts. But again, I need your help to know if that's something you wanna see on this channel. It would certainly help um, because one, I enjoy it, and two, it will kind of break up the videos a bit more for me. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if shorts are something you want to see. Next, something a lot of you have been waiting to hear about, and I'm afraid you're not gonna get that info here today, is the massive Phasmid project. So a big stick insect project is gonna be coming. This is a huge, huge project. It will probably actually take years to finish, right? Um, but I can bring you guys on that journey. It's not gonna be a bam, one video and it's done type thing. It is gonna be something that we maybe come back to every month or so to see how it's progressing. It's also gonna be massively expensive, um, like way more than, than Realm Verb was, right? We're talking to, to finish this Phasmid project, we're talking about 10 times what Realm Verb cost, okay? In, in the end game, not all in one go like this one was, over the course of a few years um, but we're not going to discuss what it is today because I think it really needs its own video it's going to be probably just a talking video so I know you guys aren't into those but if you're into the stick insects that video is definitely going to be worth watching if you want to know what the project is about and it's not just a bug realms project we're going bigger than that we're going into the the true phasmid hobby side of it uh, this project is going to be so big I'm going to literally try and save the UK hobby um, for phasmid keeping so yes yeah, stay tuned for that video 
Now I don't think there is much more I really want to talk about with you guys today, otherwise I think it's just going to go on and on and on, because ideas are always going through my head. My hain, my hain, always going through my brain, right? So I could literally just talk at you all day. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to end this video. But with again, one more final massive thanks to you guys. Oh, 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 let me know what you thought of the new intro. It's going to be carrying on like this now. I really like it. I don't know what you guys feel. This entire video needs comments, guys, from you, if you wouldn't mind. I really need your feedback overall. Do you like where I'm sat? Do you like that intro? Will you like the outro? Um, do you like what I've done with around the arboreal shelf, the sling nursery, the LEDs, the new enclosures? Are you excited for what's to come? Please just take that time to comment for me and I will read and appreciate every single one of them because as a content creator, we need feedback to go forward and I want to constantly get better for you guys at home and I can't do that without knowing all the things that you wanna see and what works and what doesn't work. So please, 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 comment below all that info so yeah i think i'm going to call it now and i'll see you in the next one